What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Little Martian. This is a game that's not available on Steam yet. You can't grab it on any of the major distributors, but you can get it from the developer's website. It's a crafting survival game set in space that I think has really charming art that kind of takes me back to the old Ultima days. And I had fun with it. I downloaded it about an hour ago and I spent about 30-40 minutes with it. Just kind of playing around, just wandering around really, not really accomplishing much. Uh, it's updated. And so anyways, it says version 3.5 is now available. I downloaded this like an hour ago. So apparently a patch went live in between me downloading this and, you know, using the bathroom and then coming back to record. So we'll play the game. We're going to check it out for about 20, 25 minutes. See if you enjoy the game. If it's something you wanted to add to your wish list and keep an eye on. It's a survival crafting game set in space with a little Martian who's kind of stranded on a foreign planet. Have you ever played like Moon Base? Kind of a similar premise. Let's dive on in. Ow. That really hurt. Where am I? This place doesn't really look anything like home. Well, I suppose that'll teach me not to buy cheap spacecraft parts. Yep, that's what happens, dude. You go down one back alley and you, you buy a trans-dimensional converter that doesn't have, like, a, a fully flexed O-ring and you get yourself into trouble. That's how I got stranded in space, too. Beep, are you okay? Broken. Ah, well. I suppose it's only a demo. A working robot sidekick would probably be too much to ask for. And besides, he was kind of annoying anyway, so... Eh, whatever. Jeez, it's kind of a mess in there. It's going to be a while before that thing's flying again. All right, so here we are. We're in space, and we've got adorable little chiptunes. What I really, really like about this game is how detailed the spacecraft is, so you can tell, like, the developer, he knows his way around pixel art. Like, this is really cool pixel art right here for, like, kind of a stylized, busted ship. But then once you get into the game, it's all just, like, primitives and little jaggies, and the plants look like something from, like, a Commodore 64 game. I actually really, really like that. Uh, we've got a red currant bush over here. Okay. We've got some ferns. All right, let me see if I can gather some ferns here. We'll pick up a couple of ferns and just see if that helps us out. What are these used for? They're generator fuel? Okay. I don't know if we have a generator yet, but maybe someday we'll have one. And it might be a good idea to stock up now rather than later. I wonder if there's anything useful I could salvage from the spacecraft. That's the game's subtle way of telling us that there's items on the spacecraft that you should probably go check out, just in case you were wondering. Apparently these pumpkins all have faces on them too. I'm gonna gather some logs, some vines. I kinda actually just wanna like clear out this area so that I have like a fresh building space that I can use, but I guess the current bushes are kind of in the way. We've got food, so that's good. We've got two meters up in the top left. We gotta watch out for our oxygen. We gotta watch out for our hunger. Apparently, having been to space now, we know that Martians breathe air just like we do, so that's pretty fun. It's commonality, it's common ground, it's a conversational topic to explore, but like so. I see that you breathe air as well, Zeno. I also breathe air. Let us forge a lasting bond of friendship around our breathing of air. Uh, we've got some scrap over here, which apparently added some new stuff to my workbench. I'm alright with that. A little bit more scrap down here. Does the flower do anything? Is it just generator fuel? So apparently we can pretty much throw like everything inside the generator. The generator is not picky about what we feed it. All right, well, let's go back over here, and we'll check it out, and we'll see if there's anything inside the spacecraft that we want to interact with. There's a workbench. I think that that's not entirely a terrible idea. There's some wood over there. It looks like we've got a GPS device. We've got some carbon. We've got some scrap. That'll stack. We've got O2 bottles. Yeah, that's probably really important. I'll probably throw all of the fuel stuff inside of here. It looks like you can shift-click it as well if you wanted it to get inside of there, and then that'll make it a little bit easier because, like, our hot slots right here, they control with the number keys. And so, like, you can't use the middle mouse scroll bar just yet in order to cycle in between your stuff. And so we got to use the number keys or tab in order to get in between it all. But I assume that that'll be added on in later on. I don't know if I used that a little bit prematurely. But I felt like having, like, a lot of extra oxygen was a good idea. So we've got our workbench. We can make wood out of logs. It looks like we can make a torch. We can make a campfire if we have a little bit of stone. Unfortunately, we do not. It looks like we can make a generator, which allows us to burn biofuel, which is why we were picking up all that other stuff. And then we've got a furnace over here. Basically, all of the crafting survival game basics 
are already here. So that's good to know. We can get a pickaxe if we have some wood and some scrap. I'll probably do that. And then we've also got an axe. That seems like a good idea. We've got a spade, so we can do that too. But we're now missing required materials for the hammer. So I'm going to have to find some more wood. Or we could just convert that on over into wood. There you go. That's what I like to see. Now we make the hammer. So the hammer has been made. That's a bowl right there whittled from a simple plank of wood. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Does it put my crafted stuff inside the spacecraft? It does not. So it's inside the workbench? It is indeed inside the workbench. Okay. So I'm going to go for, we'll have like some food like all the way over there. We've got a pickaxe. We've got an axe. We've got a shovel. We've got some wood left over, which is probably nice. I'll probably throw that over there. I'll probably throw the O2 over here too. And then I think we're looking pretty good. I don't know if I need the hammer right now. So I'm going to leave the hammer where it's at. But... I am excited about the prospect of maybe being able to get rid of this boulder over here by using our pickaxe. Maybe not. Can I mine this stone right here? Nice. Okay, so I've got some stones now, which is good because the game was asking me about stones. It was like, hey, would you like to have some stones? Apparently, I'm bugged out just saying that it's a boulder. It's very, very big over and over and over. Either that or that was a tremendously interesting boulder. Oh, nice. It makes a little choppy noise to let you know that you're using the tool. Very cool. Okay. I'll probably pick up as much scrap and stuff as I can, too, because I do want to build the generator before too long. I'd also like to get a campfire up and running, but that's sort of like a long-term goal for right now. Yeah, go ahead and grab that right there. We got a few more rocks on this side. Let me get the stone. Let me get the stone. All right, so we got some stones over here. That's ore. Let's check that out. It looks like it'll be getting dark soon. I should make a campfire. I will consider it. I will consider the campfire, but only because you have asked so nicely, little alien friend. I wonder what happens if I'm out after dark. Does something like super bad happen if I'm out after dark? Hmm. This is one thing that I have not tested along the way. Oh, there's things over here. Hold on. Perhaps an axe would work good? Okay. Oh, sweet. We found a circuit. That'll probably be helpful. What else do we have? We have steel right there. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to head on back. It looks like we can hold down shift in order to run faster, too. There's a bright purple mushroom over here. And I, oh, never mind. I don't have the space to pick it up. Feels bad. I'm going to let my oxygen go all the way down this time so I can test just how much. Oh, it's plus 100. Never mind. I didn't even need to run the test. They gave me a numerical value already. Dude, I love the color palette for this game. It's so remarkably earthy. It looks really, really good. That's not normally something that I would comment on, like the color palette. But it's definitely like I like the color palette in this game. I think it looks good. I think they made a good choice. So we've got a campfire right here. We'll put it right there. I could probably cook on the campfire. I'd better keep it stocked with firewood. Oh, yeah, okay. So we've got a mushroom medley over here. We've got mushroom stew. We've got vegetable stew. We've got pumpkin soup. We've got coconut milk, which is suitable for vegans, apparently. Red currant jam, but I need a jar in order to make that work. We've got blueberry jam, and then we've got kind of like a, a fruit kebab over here. There was a place where I grew up called Habib's Kebabs. And that is probably one of my favorite restaurant names that I've ever heard in my life. It went out of business during the Ronies, though, so... Feels bad. I never got to go there, dude. I always wanted to go and get a kebab. I just never got around to it. It's like one of those things you tell yourself. You're like, I'm gonna go to Habib's one of these days. Like, when I've got an extra afternoon. Like, when I don't have anything else to work on. I'm gonna go get some Habib's. And then, like, you just never do. You know what I mean? But it's like there... Maybe we just can't see at night. Is it going to get really dark or something? Are there going to be monsters? I'm a little bit scared for my safety right now. I've played enough Don't Starve and other survival games to know that, like, when the sun goes out, the guns come out. You know what I mean? Like, it gets a little bit, it gets a little bit crazy and hectic. Uh, I will wait until we're really low on oxygen before I pick up more oxygen. However... I don't think it's too bad of an idea to eat some food. That seems like it might be okay. Got some steel over here. Let's chop open the rest of these crates and just kind of see what happens from here. We've got chili seeds. Okay. I like chilies. I think chilies are pretty good. We've got a bucket right there. That's actually a fairly useful thing for boiling water. I'd actually, a vessel is usually one of those things that you don't have access to. It figures. I got a free pickaxe right after I made one. Don't it always seem to go that way, chat? 
An electromagnet. Okay. That's kind of like advanced and crazy, but I'll take it. Some carrot seeds. Uh-oh. I better get back home to the campfire. Let's roll. I'm going to pick up this log first, though, just in case I need to make some more. Oh, I can't pick up the log. We are logless. All right. Back to base real fast. We'll decide what we want to do with the rest of this in just a minute. I need to figure out how to make O2 bottles. That seems to be the most pressing concern. We've already gone through, like... 20% of our oxygen supply after I use the next one because if I don't say that somebody will be like Splat you've only used one that's 10% I could see that somebody did not go to the kindergarten and I'm like dude Dude I'm about to use one maybe I didn't maybe I didn't telegraph it good enough But like I'm about to I'm about to do the thing man I'm about to do the thing uh, we could make a bed if we had fabric, but we don't have any fabric. We've got an oxygenator. Reclaim oxygen from the unbreathable atmosphere outside and pump it into your modules. Okay, we've got a storage right there. I know oxygen. I'm working on it. I'll do it in a second, man. I'll do it in a... Here, will this make you happy? Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Are you happy, oxygen system? I'm pretty happy right now. You have restored me. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We've got cogs. We've got springs. We've got lots of stuff laying around. We got a timer. Apparently, I can invent Bluetooth if I want a pulse cannon. All right, I definitely need a pulse cannon. Of all the things that I need, I think the pulse cannon is what I need the most. I don't really have any logs or anything, and I'm pretty sure my fire is gonna go out in the night. So what I'd like to do is let's just throw all this stuff inside of here. Hopefully this game has my favorite quality of life edition and you can just craft from this inventory right here. If it doesn't, I'll cry. But that should definitely be an addition in future builds if that is not already the case. Uh, throw some more fire in there just in case. Throw Yeah, throw some more wood in there just in case because we don't know exactly how this is going to play out. Let's get a plan going. I think the generator is probably the best place to start. We need wire and we need scrap. How hard is it to make wire? Can I make wire yet? What's that? That's a spring. We've got a drill. We've got a flashlight. Okay, so it doesn't look like I have the means to manufacture wire. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have the means to manufacture wire just yet. But we can find scrap and we do have a steel. So that's good. Maybe we'll start off then with like a forge possibly. Where's the forge at? So we got a generator. We got a furnace right there So we need three rocks and we need three scraps. All right. I think we can do that so Two rocks that's not all the rocks that I need but I do have the scraps So we go pick up like one more rock and I think we'll be G2G uh, Let's go ahead and see if we can find anything else around here I've got more ore on this side too, which I figure we're probably gonna end up needing as time goes along little scrap metal right there. I'll take it. Another rock. Perfect. What is that right there? Is that just a sizzle tree? What's a sizzle tree? I've never heard of a sizzle tree before. Is it hot? Fibers. Oh, that might be how we make this stuff for our bed. Okay. All right. We'll deforest all the things. We're going to need lots and lots of space in order to get this thing done, so... I mean, we're going to deforest all this, maybe build a little base down here. I've seen screenshots from further on in the game where they've got a pretty big base built, and they've got, like, oxygen pumps and all kinds of stuff going on, and so I'm interested in checking that on out. The red currents will be nice because we're kind of hungry right now, dude. i got to figure out this red current situation. There we go. See, that's how it's done right there. I don't know if we had enough to do the red current thing. Yeah, we need blueberries in order to make that work. But if the blueberries, this adds up to 20, right? I gotta go find some blueberries. Meanwhile, if the sun could come up, if the sun had come up any second, bet your bottom dollar I'd be happy with the sun. I do need to figure out how to make wire. Let's make the forge first. We'll get that built so that at least we have the ability to do some like basic metallurgy, I suppose. Now we got our workbench here. Go ahead and click on that. I've got my furnace. We'll make that. Throw that right there furnace can go right there. Does the furnace? The furnace needs fuel. Okay, so the furnace is going to need fuel, so we need to take care of that. I can get this tree stump right here, so maybe that'll help. That did indeed give me wood. Let's go track down some trees or maybe some logs that are just kind of like laying around the area, and we'll see if we can turn those into something useful. So there's a log right there, and then there is a log right here. Sorry, my cat's on my lap, and he's causing all kinds of problems right now. 
Like, he likes to arch his tail, and it catches my microphone and, like, pushes it away from my face. You guys have no idea the amount of edits I have to make to these videos in order to just, like, clear out the fact that I have way too many pets, and they're just all over my house, eating all my food, pooping in all of my cubes. Like, it's just, like, it's just... It's a mess, alright? It's a mess. And sometimes it gets in the way of a normal, functional afternoon of recording videos for you guys. Uh, let's take a look at this right here. I'm gonna grab this real fast. I think I've got enough wood to last, like, a little while. So I think we're gonna be okay. If I convert this all over into planks, we can see what sort of smelting we can get done. I'm trying to pick up food along the way, too. It does look like the red currant bushes, they respawn. So we should have a fairly generous source. I think we should have a fairly generous source of just, like, things to work on, so... But the oxygenator, that's what I really, really want to get to first. I feel like the oxygenator is something that is probably going to be paramount. Apparently, I can't mess with the boulder right now. The boulder is too strong for me, and its bravery is unmatched. All right, well, where's my house at? My house is over here. All right, so let's throw some wood inside this thing. I'm going to chop up some planks real fast. But there we go. We should have enough wood to last a little while. Oh, I gotta put carbon in there. Wood is sufficient to create carbon and process ores. Using carbon as full fuel, you can produce alloy. Okay. Ugh. Where did my woods go? Alright, so. I figured out what the update did. We are privy to what the update to the 3.5 version did. So apparently on the old version that I had that I downloaded an hour ago, the furnace was eating items and making them disappear, as happened just previously. Uh, this fixes it. Now it's not, it's not eating items anymore. So maybe it'll work this time around. We'll have to check it out, though. We gotta go find some wood from around because I throw all my wood in there, and unfortunately, as tends to happen, you throw your wood in unfamiliar places and you get problems, alright? Just a little bit of life advice for you there, chat. Just a little bit of life advice for you. Let's see if we can get it to work this time so that we can make the forge work for us. We'll get some tree stumps over here. I actually kind of want to go back over to, like, the space thing over here, like this building. And I kind of want to check all their storages and stuff, too, and just see if I can, like, have it. Can I break these walls or anything? Is that, like, a... Oh, no. Oh, I can dig up sand? Okay. I learned a new thing today. I want more wood. Let's chop down this palm tree right here. Dude, there are some sick palm trees where I live. There's palm trees everywhere in my town where I live right now. And there's like ones that are like a gazillion feet tall, dude. They look so high up that they're in the clouds. It's kind of wild how big a palm tree can get. Inside this storage, we found parsnip seeds. Apparently, I'm in water right now. Oh, cool. There's a bunch of base elements over here. Okay. We'll keep that where it's at for right now. What did they have inside of here? Wire! Oh, we can make the thing that we wanted to make, and steel beams and stuff, too. Nice, dude. Nice. Chop down the crate real fast. What's inside this storage? Oh, more tools! I didn't even need to craft all my tools, but for the sake of demonstration, I suppose that it's good that I showed off all the tools. I guess. Uh, let's roll over this way, and we'll see if we can find anything awesome that we can add to our inventory now. I'm gonna sprint back on home with my fast little Martian leggies. And I want to get this forge up and running, dude. I'm, like, excited about this forge. I am unreasonably stoked about this forge. Okay, that's all you need to know. One thing I do like is how when you're crafting stuff, it doesn't put it into your inventory. It puts it into a temp inventory over here so that if you're full up, you don't have to worry about dropping a bunch of stuff on the ground. That's actually pretty cool foresight. There we go. So now we've got that inside of there, and then I guess maybe we put that right there. Oh, yeah, look at that, and it's got, like, a little animation, too. Dude, I like the art style in this game. Like, I know some people might find it to be a little bit old and, like, out of date and kind of old-fashioned, but it, I dig it. It's taking me back to my childhood. We got some carbon, and we've got some iron. Very cool. So I guess that's iron ore right there. We're gonna need some oxygen pretty soon. So, like, how hard is it gonna be for us to craft our generator? We need a steel, and we need a wire. We have the wire. That means we just need to pick up the steel from inside of here. So where's my steel at? There's my steel right there. All right, so we've got our steel. We've got all of our stuff. We now have our generator as well. I don't know exactly where I want to put the generator, 
But it looks like we can just throw stuff in there. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do like the wiring by hand in order to like move stuff around and get things moving. Uh, I don't see any blueprints in here for like the making of walls. Oh no, there's a habitat module right here. So we need aluminum, we need steel, and we need light bulbs. Okay. Fair enough. I think that'll work. We've also got cables right here, so we're gonna be able to attach things. I still don't have the ability to make wire, though, which is kind of, like, worrying me. Like, I feel like we've got a lot of stuff here, but I'm missing wire as a, as a blueprint. And so until I find that, I think we've hit a little bit of a stopgap. I can use those to make fabrics. So we got two fabrics right there. I've got leaves. We've got fabrics. Do I have any wood left? I should make a bed so that we can sleep through the night and not have to really, like, worry about anything. So there's the leaves right there. And then let's go get some wood real fast so that we can make ourselves a bed as well. There we go. It's a good thing we got, like, this little birch grove over here. Otherwise, I feel like we'd be in, like, big trouble. All right, some birch trees over here. We'll get those all hacked together. Perfecto. All right, and then over on this side, I suppose what we can do. We've got the generator. Maybe I'll throw some stuff in the generator in just a minute, too. I'm missing some required parts. It's okay. I'm going to get to it. Don't you worry about that. I've got you covered, baby. I've got you covered, baby. All right, so we've got a bed right here. I think we put the bed, like, over near the fire. I don't know if we can tear stuff down. It's way too bright outside to sleep. All right, I'll consume some oxygen. All right, so we need to figure out how we can get a module and how we can make wire. Those are the two. Oh, I can carry more items. Nice, too. I need fabric for that? Oh, nice, dude. We got to go find some more of those salsa trees or whatever they were called. Let's go find some salsa trees, bro. I know they're around here. They were down to the south, so maybe we find like a... What is that right there? That's a dead tree. That's not a salsa tree. There's a salsa tree. All right, found a salsa tree. Mmm, delicious. It tastes like La Vittoria. All right, so we've got our salsa tree right there. I need to find a few more salsa trees. I don't have enough right now. Salsa trees, where are you? Salsa trees, do you want to be friends? I was going to sleep for the night, but I think it's more important for right now that I find, like, stuff to eat. Can I eat this? Yeah, let's eat that pumpkin right there. Mmm, an entire pumpkin. I am now full of the power of the pump. Oh, we'll grab a little bit of you right there. I don't see any more salsa trees. Or, oh, there's one right there. But anyway, it's getting kind of dark right now, and I want to see how the sleeping system works. So we're going to try that out real quick. Hopefully, that's enough hunger to get me till tomorrow. Maybe. Oh, cool. He has, like, little thoughts that he has, like, while he's laying down in bed. I wonder, would it be better to be all alone on this planet or not? I would consider that maybe being alone is the best case scenario here for right now, considering how unarmed we are. Like, you never know, dude. I just, you know, I don't trust other Xenos. I know that I myself am a Xeno, but my natural distrust for other Xenos, it's just been all bad experiences for me since I was small. You meet a new alien race, and sure enough, they're trying to kill you without a moment's hesitation. Come, Salsa Tree! Join me in my inventory so that I can make fabric for a new sweet-ass pack pack. All right, let's go down here, and we're going to make another sweet-ass pack pack. Uh, I need the fibers. There's the fibers. Throw that in there. No, this item is not available in the demo. My heart is broken. All right, that's it. I am spiraling into a depression. It seems weird that I can't make... It, it seems odd to me. Oh, cool, we got the aluminum that we needed. That's pretty rad. I didn't realize that the rocks will produce, like, different things, so I guess we get random stuff out. Uh, so if I wanted to make the habitat module, how do I get that done? Let's take a look. It was the big square, right? It's got the habitat module. We need a light bulb, we need aluminum, and we need steel. I don't have steel just yet. How do I make a light bulb? Of course, it requires wire. We're going to have to figure this out. We're going to have to figure this out. I assume that wire is going to happen once I find copper. That's my guess. Because it adds new recipes whenever you get new elements and stuff. So, like, I'm guessing that when I find copper, that's when this is all going to come together. Throw all that stuff in there. Let's go back over to the spaceship over on the left-hand side. We'll see if we can grasp and, and, like, maybe gain for ourselves some of the elements that we might be needing. We're looking for CU right now. And I don't know if there's actually... There's a coconut? Ooh. Now we just need to find some limes. We can put lime in the coconut and drink it all up. All right. So we'll put this over here. 
can be turned into milk. Okay, good to know. I will take that log just because I always seem to be sort of pressured into not having the things that I desire. This storage right here, we've got iron, we've got cobalt, we've got magnesium, we've got zinc. Okay, well we picked up a couple of things inside of there. It's not precisely what I needed, nor what I desired, but I think we're going to have to harvest a lot more rocks before this gets better. Uh, I would like to cook these coconuts if I can. It seems like there's a lot of them laying around when we go by like the little coastal areas, and so maybe this is how I'm going to feed myself today. I don't know, but I'm going to try. Take that right there. I wonder if I can swim, dude. I'm a little bit terrified to try because video games have this long-standing tendency to be like, meh, 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 you're dead, like when you go into water without like warning you. Some games will give you like a little pop-up and they'll be like, hey, if you go into the water, you're going to drown. I'm like, oh, thank you for that game. I appreciate you being so forthcoming with that info. Oh, I need a jar. Oh, no. Okay, we might starve to death it seems to me that there's a pretty good chance that we might starve to death. I'm gonna go eat these pumpkins and all of these, all these mushies over here, dude. Let me get some of these mushies. Grab some of that stuff right there. Yeah, just kinda, you know, add a little bit to the meter just to say that we did so that we can make that declaration on our tax forms. I need more food. I don't just kinda need more food. I need like way more food. Let's go ahead and chop this ore right here too. Like while we're in the neighborhood, we're gonna need it anyway, so. I think we should. I need to start smelting like everything I can get my hands on so that we can find copper. Couple more red currants. Ooh, we got three out of that one. Yay, the meter is strong. Uh, but the oxygenator. We need the oxygenator. So, like, let's work on the ore real fast. I, I think we need to go on, like, a smelt explosion right now in order to get all the things required in order to make, like, more stuff. I need that wire blueprint really, really badly. If I can get the wire blueprint, it should be easy peasy lemon squeezy from there. But for right now, it's resisting my advances. I'm sort of wondering if I sprint if my hunger goes down faster. I've been sprinting this entire time because, you know, I'm an alien on the move, dude. I'm an alien with stuff to accomplish and not a whole lot of time to mince words. A little bit more ore. But yeah, the game feels good. Like, it feels all put together. Like, I'm pretty happy with this right now. Like, I could see myself sinking some serious hours into this just because the color palette and the art and the way the game looks is really, really, like, jumping out at me. Like, I like it a lot. I like it, like, a lot, a lot. There you go. Smelt that up for me, baby. Smelt that up for me, baby. Gimme copper. Gimme copper. But, yeah, this game is called Little Martian. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it's not available yet, but you can get it on the developer's website in a demo. Hopefully it'll be coming to major distributors soon. Uh, seems like a pretty cool crafting survival game. So thanks for stopping on in. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block was The Little Martian. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.